What's up internet? Today we're going to make turkey chili. What you're going to want is about a pound of ground turkey or ground beef or ground chicken. You can make a chicken chili, a turkey chili, or a meat uh, chili. Uh, we're going to be making a turkey chili today though. One pound of meat, open it up, have it ready. We have a pan. I put some olive oil in the pan, about a tablespoon or so. And I have it on high to get this thing nice and hot, but I'm eventually going to lower it to about a medium heat. You're going to want a wooden spoon to cook and stir around everything you're going to be making. You want one can of kidney beans, one can of, I like garbanzo beans, you can also substitute white beans or even black beans, I mean, go well with chili. You can see the pan's already starting to smoke, so it's very hot. Let's go ahead and remove that for a second. Because this is such a hot pan, we want to move this around quite a bit to cool off the pan and make sure we have an even cooking. So all I did there was, uh, I knew I had a really hot pan, so I kind of wanted to move it around. But as you can see, it cooked the chili really quickly. Um, if you're new at this, I would just start at a medium heat and just cook it a little slower. Um, as you can see now, it's starting to brown. I still have some pink in there. You want to basically just cook all the pink out of the meat. Um, so I showed you the beans. The other thing you want is corn. Now, should you get generic beans and corn, like Sunny Select, or should you buy a name brand like S&W? Uh, personally, I mean, with corn, I think the name brand is worth it because when you have like corn like this, I feel that the name brand is a little more firmer corn and it's a little better quality. With the beans, I really can't tell a difference. Um, but what I did was I opened the cans with a can opener and you just hold this and you pour out all the juice on the beans and the corn. Now, you have the sauce. This is just some cheap sauce. Bacon and cheese. I don't even know if this is going to be good. Um, but uh, just a regular tomato sauce. Uh, if you want to add mushroom sauce or any other types of flavors of sauce, that's great. As far as making homemade sauce versus buying sauce, buy sauce. It's just it's not worth the time to make your own sauce. Unless you're going to make gallons at a time and freeze it. Otherwise, your return on investment with sauce is very low. So we're almost about there. Um, um, if you want to get fancy, if you have any wine or any alcohol, you can deglaze the pan by adding like a tablespoon or so into the um, into the meat and just let that kind of uh, cook for about a minute and then proceed. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I'm actually making this for my brother. So um, most of the meat is brown now. It's all cooked. So now you just, it's so easy. You just dump in all of your other ingredients. So you got your kidney beans. We have our corn. We have our garbanzo beans and our sauce. With the sauce, I like to put a little water in here, shake it up and pour it in. Shake it up. And that's gonna cut that's gonna get the majority of the sauce out. Pour that in. Give this a stir. So you're pretty much done here. Now you have the options of seasoning. Now, if you really want to go pro on this, you would season at every addition. So you'd season the meat with a little bit of salt and pepper, and then you'd season it again with some salt and pepper now that you have these other ingredients in here. I'm just going to do it all at the end. Um, you definitely want some salt. Now, it would be really great if I put some fresh garlic in here, but we're doing this the easy way. Um, you can use garlic salt. So here we have some garlic salt. So this is going to not only add that garlic flavor, it's also going to salt the chili as well. So I want to put about a tablespoon of that in here, quite a bit, get that, because there's quite a bit of thing, there's about, you know, a quart or so of, uh, of chili here. Another great thing would be if I added some onions, but we didn't have onions, so let's just use some minced onions. It's the cheaper way, it's not as culinary, but it'll add flavor, and about a tablespoon of chopped onions. And then I like a little bit of fresh pepper. The last thing is chili powder. Now, my brother actually really likes it like this without the chili powder. The chili powder is going to add a lot more like smokiness. 
to the chili. So if you like more of a smoky flavored chili, then go with the chili powder, about a tablespoon, maybe a little less, a couple teaspoons of this. Um, and that'll really get it that meaty, chili, deep, uh, taste. Now as far as um, cooking, the meat's already cooked so technically I could just start eating this right now. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to let this simmer. Uh, you can see it's starting to bubble over there and over there. So it's starting to bubble. So then at that point you know it's coming up to temperature. And don't forget we have this tool here. You can see where it's boiling. We're getting it up to 140 degrees or so. Um, and that's boiling point. So we don't want to cook out all the, if you keep it on a high, it's going to cook out all the moisture and you want a nice moist um, chili. So what you want to do is just simmer it. And what the simmering does is it lets the flavors get into all the beans and let the flavors get into the meat. So you want to simmer for somewhere between 5 and 15 minutes. There you have it. I like to garnish it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese and some crackers of your choice. My favorite crackers are Wheat Thins. I'm all out of Wheat Thins so I have these gluten free crackers but they still look delicious. It gives you that texture of the smooth and then you have the nice crunch. You can even toast some bread or use anything else that you prefer to like to dip or eat with your chili. Or you can go all out, put some blue corn tortilla chips on the outside, a little chili, a little avocado. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment below. And until next time, thank you.